Hello, this is Tyler Young with Go Engineer, and I'm a senior support engineer. Today I want to show you a way to explode a screw in SolidWorks Composer so that you get the rotation and the translation at the same time. So let's take a look at a little video that I've already created here as part of this. Let's just play this really quick. So, so you see, as we do this, we zoomed in, and then at, right here at this time step, the screw started to rotate and unscrew a little bit, and then it exploded or translated out the rest of the way. So we're going to do that with another screw here. Let's just pick this bottom screw there. So to do this, what we need to actually do is we're going to be creating a new subassembly in this part, or in the, the project. So if we can do this by right-clicking the top level name, we say create an assembly group. I'm just going to call this one screw 2. So now I have an empty assembly group. I'm going to take that screw that we want to do this to, take it, drag it, and drop it up into that screw 2 assembly group. So now I have these new assembly group and the screw is part of that. So I'm going to move to, let's say, 4.5. I need to create a new location, time key. And I'm creating this time key right now for the part, for the screw, but I also want to create it for the assembly the assembly group. So I'm going to turn on my assembly selection, select that screw, and create a time key. So this is the key part of doing this. We need to have a part or an actor and a sub-assembly or an assembly group. And we're going to do this in two steps. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my actor, my screw, and I'm going to rotate that. So I'm going to click change our time so we're going to go out uh, about a second and a half, and now we're going to rotate that. So we rotate this about a minus 1080, so three rotations. And you see, as soon as I do that, it creates those individual time points. Now if I look at this, deselect my item, if I look at that, you can see my screw is rotating in place, but it's not translating it. So that translation comes from my assembly group here. So I'm going to come and click on my assembly group. I want to say translate. Now, for some reason on this, my assembly group translate is populating down here. Okay, so now that I see this down here, I'm just going to move my time to about there. Rotate out. Translate that out some amount. Okay. Set my time key, my location key, and then move out the rest of it and translate out that out the rest of the way. So now I can deselect this and we can take a look at our video. So that's just a quick way that you can make an explosion of a screw that will translate and rotate at the same time. Thank you for watching again. This was Tyler Young with Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.